Hi guys, so today someone gave me a look of disapproval and said, oh my gosh, you still use PIP? You should really be using UV. Did you know that the first P in PIP stands for prehistoric and the I stands for incredibly slow? As much as I would love to ignore that person, I think it's probably about time to give UV a try and see for myself if fits actually so much faster than PIP like people keep saying. So that's what we'll be doing in this video. Alrighty, so first of all, let's find UV on GitHub. So UV GitHub. Okay, so that's the UV repo. As you can see, it's popular. It has about 52,000 stores, which is impressive. And it seems to be updated regularly, which is cool as well. Oh, it says here in the highlights that it's a single tool to replace pip, pip tools, pip x, poetry, pi env, twine, virtual env, and more. And that it's 10 to 100 times faster than pip, which is something I really, really, really want to know if it's true because that could potentially save us so much time, right? So uh, let's begin by installing it. So I'm on Windows, so I'll copy this command, which I think is uh, the command to install it via the standalone installer for Windows. But if you want, you could also use pip to install it with pip install uv apparently. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to open PowerShell and I'm just gonna paste the command and hit enter. Okay, UV is downloading. It installed, that was pretty fast, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna close this and I'm gonna create a new directory so we can test UV in Visual Studio Code. I'm gonna call it UV test. Let's open it in Visual Studio Code. Alrighty, now let's fire up terminal. And to make sure that UV is installed properly, we can type in the command UV. It says here in the docs, after installing UV, you can check that UV is available by typing the UV command which is exactly what I'll do right now. So let's type UV. Okay, looks like everything went as expected. It's an extremely fast Python package manager. All right, so it says here that we can use run to run a script and in it to create a new project. Ooh, I wanna try that. Let's try UV in it. I have no idea what a UV project is. Okay, oh, <laughs> okay. So a bunch of things appeared over here. There is a Python version 3.13. That is correct. That is the Python version I'm currently using. Oh, and there's main.py created for us. Okay, I wonder if we can run it with the run command. So let's try. UV run main.py. Yay. It ran, hello from UV test, hello back. Okay, this is very cool. And I'm guessing that uh, this TOML file is where we'd have the dependency, yes, exactly. So this is cool, this is like uh, a super easy, out of the box dependency management system. I'm loving what I'm seeing so far. Oh, and Venv appeared, when did it appear? I don't remember creating Venv. Oh, I think it got created when we uh, ran um, main.py, I think. So is it active? I'm not sure. I'm just gonna run the activation script anyways, just to be sure. So, um, then scripts activate. Okay, now we know it's active. Okay, so one of the things I keep hearing over and over and over is downloading packages and installing them with UV is so much faster than pip, right? So uh, let's try that. 
So how about we install, or actually, as far as I know, there are multiple commands to add or install dependencies. We can use add and add adds dependencies to the project. And we can use also pip it, to manage Python packages with a pip compatible interface. Okay, so I like the idea of add. I'm guessing that if we use add, then our packages would be added to the toml file, right? Maybe it, they'll appear here. Okay, so how about we add a big package, like for example, pandas. So uv add pandas. Okay, so I hear that one of the reasons why uv is super fast is because of its aggressive caching. Oh yeah, here it says UV uses aggressive caching to avoid re-downloading and rebuilding dependencies that have already been accessed in prior runs. So supposedly, oh wow, it's already done. <laughs> okay, I thought it was gonna take longer actually. I mean, Pandas is huge. So like I was saying, aggressive caching means that uh, the second time you download something, it's gonna be much faster than the first time. So how about we test that? So let's make a, another directory and call it uh, new dir. <laughs> okay, let's cd into it. Okay, and now uh, let's create venv and call it new dir. Okay, let's activate this venv. Okay, and now let's install pandas again. So uv, let's use pip install this time. So uv pip install pandas. Oh my gosh, this was so fast. Okay, so let's look at lib. Yeah, everything is there. Oh my gosh, unbelievable. I didn't expect this. I am mind blown. <laughs> this is, uh, yeah. So um, I guess I would like to thank everyone who bullied me for using pip too long. And I'd like to admit uh, that I'm ashamed of not trying UV sooner because uh, due to not trying it sooner, I have missed out at saving a lot of time probably and uh, using the cool features it seems to have. Like, I'm excited to play with it some more. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.